My name is Brother DT, and this is the Friar Live. While there are many common aspects of living the life of a Franciscan friar, there is hardly a blueprint to follow. Called to live the gospel of Jesus Christ in the way of St. Francis, no two lives are the same. This is a Friar Life. Every morning, I like to center myself with uh, yoga and the meditation to kind of ground myself, to limber my body up and get ready for the day. And sometimes I do read, it depends on how busy my mind is. But this morning I use the mantra, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the many gifts you've given me. Thank you for another day to serve you. And just to be quiet by myself. Uh, I find it's really energizing for me. I start my day, of course, with prayer uh, individually and with the community. Then I swim through the Gibio project. Then I come down here to just touch base with the guys in our recovery center. Start adding the vegetables and the, all the uh, seasoning. Right now what I have in here is just chicken and chicken stock. Okay. And then as the chicken starts cooking, then I'll start incorporating more stuff. In good. Father Alfred Center, it's a 12 month program for uh, our brothers or addicted to drug and alcohol. So it's a, based on 12 steps and uh, cognitive therapy and uh, a work program to uh, teach them soft skills. And there's four phases to this. And this, the first two phases, they work here in the dining room to uh, get the soft skills, then they move up. We teach them how to write a resume, do a job interview. Then the fourth phase, they go out and get a job, but they still live in the house. And they have to have sponsors and meetings and so forth. Every morning, I come down here and to check in, see how the guy's doing, if they need to talk about something. He's not here today, but we have one guy, he's a character. He's known for tying people up. He's tied my cord three times to my chair without me knowing it. He's tied the apron, so when he's down here, I like to sit next to the wall, so hopefully he won't tie my cord to the chair again. My number one job is to be a presence to our guests. Uh, to walk with them, to bring joy, to listen to their struggles. What resonates with me is the gospel of when Jesus said, when I was hungry, when I was thirsty. So I look at our guests as Jesus, being hungry and need clothing and shelter. One time I was busting tables, and we, it's always protocol to ask that our guests were through with their meal. And it had an empty seat with a tray there. And I asked the guy across the table, I said, do you know if they're through? He looked at the tray, then looked at me, looked at the tray, looked at me. He said, if you think there's somebody sitting there, you have much more bigger problems than I do. So, you know, our guests really have a wonderful sense of humor. Uh, and after you kind of enter into their story, these folks are caring, witty, and really loving. Why I wear this habit? It's a number of things. One, in this neighborhood we call the Tenderloin, it's a symbol of hope. It's a good way to evangelize without saying or speaking. Like Francis said, preach the gospel at all times when necessary to use words. This is my humble abode, our office. Uh, this is where I meet with the staff members uh, for spiritual direction in broader terms. Uh, you know, like if they're struggling with something, they're on the front line. 
and it's this secondhand or vicarious trauma they receive constantly because most of our home or nearly all of our homeless folks are experiencing uh, trauma or PTSD so we're here to help them process that uh, I sit with the guest services and CSS twice a month in a gathering where it's sacred. There's no cross-talking, but help them to uh, process the trauma. I ask them, like, what's bothering you today or this week? What gave you joy? What are you grateful for? Questions like that, and that each of them could speak and help them to process. And if they need to go deeper, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, then I'm here. That's one of my main jobs. It's really wonderful as brothers, every Wednesday evening, we gather to celebrate our faith. Our community mass is a way for us to connect with each other. We all live very busy lives, so this is a time to share our faith, our insights of the gospel, and how to be brothers to one another. And our faith is a glue that binds us together as a community. This is our uh, community room. He appreciated the eye. This is after our mass, we gather up here once a week to uh, build community, to see what's going on with each other, and just to relax, enjoy each other. Right now, since uh, the meal is over, we're cleaning up, transforming the dining room. As you can see, we're mopping the floors, and then here in just a little bit, we start laying the mats down for our winter shelter guests. It's an arbitrary number, but let's say roughly about 45 per, per night. We could accommodate up to 60, though. And some of these single mothers, you know, they get divorced and they may not have an educational level or whatever the reason is. They end up on the streets. And we're here as a safety net to catch them to help them get back on their feet, get them in housing and a job and so forth. So I guess the, the biggest lesson I've learned from the homeless, and they teach me every night, every day, is how they rely on God. Not a high theology, but just a raw, everyday, daily bread theology they live from. So. And, and that's humbling for me. So, uh, end of a busy day, when everything's said and done, I come to my room and check emails, uh, read a little bit, or watch a documentary on YouTube, and sometimes a movie, uh, but mostly to reflect on my day. What important to me, Rich Rohr said this, life isn't about me, I'm about life. And it, as being a friar, it's for us to live a gospel life, to minister, to witness to the people we minister to and they minister to us too. So, end of the day, I'd just like to reflect process the good and the bad of the day and the bad I let go but as a friar for me it's life-giving so if you're willing to give your life to the kingdom to uh, proclaim the kingdom of God 
this life is wonderful because the payoff is you can receive much more reward than what you give. So I'm very grateful to be asked to join this life. Amen, amen. So. Okay. This is community building, so. Uh, can we do it one more time? I, I, I don't know you all that well, so I might yeah. be going on a limb, but I, I think you're a little more high energy than this. I think you're a little looser. <laughs> just, I, I haven't, embarrassed. In front of I haven't, I haven't yeah. seen you smile yet, and yeah. I think you're a big smiler, so you know, yeah. just talk about your brothers. Okay. And the Lord gave me brothers. <laughs>